Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create tab panels. So if you have seen my previous videos where I have talked about how you can create these boxes, add interactivity or uh, some good colors and titles and controls on a boxes that you can create within the shiny dashboard and uh, in this video we will take one more step where let's say the assumption is that we have a lot of controls maybe there are like 8 to 10 controls that we want to display on this page and if you can see there is a very less amount of space that is uh, left you know, on this page to really display those controls then tab panels can come very handy in such scenarios where you can have tabs uh, multiple tabs within one box so what what I meant by that is there is one tab for histogram another tab for these controls or for this box and third uh, tab for third type of controls or chart or display uh, of information that you really want uh, to display in this dashboard so how we can create it and uh, use it uh, the front end so for that let's go into the uh, the code that we have written so if you have seen the uh, this code in my previous video you it will look familiar but uh, it's actually very simple we are here working in the dashboard body so dashboard body is nothing but this space where we are working on the charts or on the controls to display it for the end user and then within that we within the fluid row we have these boxes so first box is for histogram another box is for controls so this is the histogram and these are the controls after that what we need to do is uh, to create any tab panel we will need to write uh, these right syntax for that so the syntax is basically simple tab box you need to surround both of these within a tab box and then what we can do is close it over here and we need to remove this box and say tab panel that's it that's the only change you need to do to, to basically make them a two different panels within one tab box so what will going to happen is that you have these two boxes currently displayed at two different location but in after this change you will have histogram as first tab and controls for dashboard as a second tab within the same box all right so let's hit save and let's try to refresh this by pressing f5 all right so once we hit f5 our application is refreshed and we have one histogram and another one is control of dashboard as the one uh you know these two controls within the one tab box and you have multiple tabs if you want a third tab you can keep on adding the tab panel and the name of the control and its related information and it will show you the same tab and if you want to create another box like this one tab box another tab box over here what you can do is you can create after this parenthesis for first tab box you can go ahead and start writing the uh, information for second tab box within that start creating tab panel like this based on the information that you wanted to display so that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to talk in this video about how you can add multiple tabs within one single box and make a best use of your space to display the multiple information or multiple controls, multiple charts, uh, if that is what your requirement is. So I'll meet you in the next video with some new topic.